be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up on the video if you like today's content. Now today, what we're going to be covering is the quickest way to mix a boom bap beat in Logic Pro 10. Now to demonstrate this, obviously I need to play the beat that we're going to be mixing first and then I'm going to give you some tips, all right? So let's just check it out. I'm going to play a break, basically like the intro and then a hook and then we'll get into like the mix. You got So that's just a little taste of what the beat is and what we got going. First things I'm going to recommend that you do is just go ahead and put a loop on the hook. Okay, whatever the hook is, just put a loop on that. And then second, what we're going to do is actually go ahead and gain stage these tracks. Okay, what is gain staging? Basically, it's going to make sure the chat the tracks aren't actually peaking before we even get started with the mix. So um, I'm going to save this. We're going to do a save as command shift S and then I'll just say whatever the track name is and put two after it. So it'll be like our second type of mix. And what I'll do is I'm just going to highlight everything and push option. And that's going to bring everything to nominal gain. Okay. We want to do that real quick. And what I'll do is instrument by instrument. We'll start with the drums. I'll go ahead and we'll um, do something called gain staging. And so the gain stage, you're going to just click on where you see audio effects and go all the way down to utility, push gain and right here. And basically what I'm doing is making sure that the tracks are not peaking above negative six DB. Some would say negative 18. I'll say negative six. And so let's get, let's go ahead. So you'll do that with all of the instruments, man. One step at a time. You can just hold down option and drag the gain over to the next uh, track and we can make adjustments if needed. And pretty much once you got the gain set on one of the instruments, at least for the, for the drums, should be good. Same thing with the melody, but we got to still check. And we're basically turning stuff up and down just to make sure it's like, say if I have something super low in the mix, we'll turn that up. So I'm gonna bring this over, hold down option, bring it, drag that over, do this uh, open hi-hat. All right, bet. So we have the drums done. Next thing I would say to do is like the bass and then we'll work with the melody. So I'm gonna put this on this bass. Now the idea behind this is like basically once I actually start with this mix, um, you know, you shouldn't be pop peeking on the red on the stereo out. And as you can see here, it's not peaking at all with these drums now. It was definitely doing it before. So let's keep on going down the, the tracks here. We'll go with the strings. So we got that on that. And then I also will put this on the melody tracks.
see, actually on this track, I needed to bring it, um, it was not as low, so. So we'll keep on growing. All right, cool. So maybe that takes a little bit of a process, but it's gonna help out with the mixing when it comes to actually mixing. So I don't have to necessarily worry about it peaking as much um, when we do the gain staging. So let's just look at the stereo out now. Nothing's peaking on the stereo out, so don't have to worry about that now. So cool, once you got that done, the next thing is gonna be to do the levels, okay? so. This is going to be different from gain staging. This is where we're actually going to be pushing the, um, the faders up or down based on the mix. So I'm always going to start with the kick, make sure that's going to be the loudest thing in the mix. And we're going to base everything um, that we're mixing based off this, this loudness of this kick. So I can bring this down for the snare, we'll bring, bring that in. All right, once you got the drums mix again you're starting with that kick the kick's going to be the highest uh, instrument or loudest instrument in the mix you want everything to kind of flow right under it we'll go with the bass now let's start with that and as you can hear now like that bass it's kind of low, but it's it's still loud enough where you can hear the bass, but also it's not completing with the mid, the uh, kick. Let's keep on going. We'll start off with some of these uh, strings. I'm just turning it up over here with the uh, with the automation knobs because I had a put a fader at the end right here. Otherwise, I would just use the fader. Okay, just to let y'all know. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead into this mixer. We'll keep on going.
Okay, and as you say, saw that I was doing, I started making adjustments. After I brought all the levels in, you want to make sure, make sure you make adjustments. So bring up the snare if it needs to be brought up, hi-hats, stuff like that. Also, if you look over here on these uh, melody instruments or these samples, I did cut out cut out some of the uh, low end. So you want to make sure that you balance that out as well. Um, that's gonna be mainly on those. Um, mainly, you're gonna do that on your um, your melodies. Okay. So for the most part, <clears throat> just between gain staging, getting the proper levels, and just doing some simple EQ, you got a pretty solid mix here. And actually, if you look at the stereo out on this, nothing is peaking. Um, I know in previous videos, I said that you know a simple way to get rid of peaking is by putting um, you know the Smack Attack plugin on and putting clipping on. But yeah, that's gonna be a quick way to make sure it doesn't peak, but it's not necessarily gonna be <clears throat> the best, but you know, this is gonna be the better way to do it. Plenty of headroom um, and everything is balanced the right way, especially with the kick being up here, you know, nudging up some of these instruments to make sure you can hear them. Um, now you'd also wanna do some panning so you could like take some of these instruments and go to the left or the right, okay? It doesn't have to be super crazy, but just enough to give it a little bit of variance and um, you can also add effects like reverb and different things like that to add more space and depth in your depth in your music okay so like in this particular beat i don't know that i would really put a whole lot of reverb on it but i know i have a little bit on these strings so what i could do is we'll put a little bit more on the strings i'm gonna go with this Valhalla room and we'll just put that on the strings and see how that changes the dynamics of things Cool. So that has some good um, reverb on it. I'll turn it down just a little bit. And then also, one thing you could do like with your low end uh, instruments to make them pop out just a little bit more is there's a plugin called R Bass, and it's a pretty dope plugin. It will definitely help your uh, instrument, uh, your lower sounding instrument, some, some you know in the mix. You'll see once we actually start this up. It's taking some time to load for some reason. Um, give me just a second, and then we'll open this up. Oh, okay, so like you can boost certain frequencies basically um, you want to go more so on the lower spectrum But let's listen to that sounds with the bass on there
big, big difference, man. Big, big difference um, on the bass. So I'll tell you, play it without. You know what I'm saying? Without, that bass is really kind of tucked in there. With is, is more prevalent. Anyway, y'all, the beat is pretty much done as far as the mix is, is concerned. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, you know, we have a pretty solid mix. It's not peaking anywhere. It's not peaking anywhere um, in any of the meters or on the output uh, the stereo out. And it still hits hard, uh, especially when you turn up your faders or your, your, your speakers. It, it smashes pretty nice. So that's today's video on, uh, you know, how to mix or the quickest way to mix a boom bap beat in Logic Pro 10. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have courses that you can download, full-fledged video courses that have hours of content in them. And the best things about it is, after you download it onto your computer, you don't need a password or the internet to watch these videos. Plus, everything is gonna be organized into a curriculum so you don't have to go and jump around to different videos on the internet. Everything will be right there. Make sure you go ahead and go to my site, beat making basics we have courses for beginners intermediate and people who actually are more thorough with music production so everything is there for you actually we got some loop packs as well make sure you grab those and we have a giveaway don't sleep on the giveaway y'all we got our first giveaway coming up basically um along our journey to 100,000 subscribers we're going to be giving away dope prizes at different milestones okay so first milestone is 10,000 subscribers we're actually almost there and at 10,000 subscribers we're going to be giving away a brand new pair of studio headphones to one lucky subscriber all you have to do to enter the win is actually go to the site be making basics click on giveaway download that subscriber bundle pack it's going to have a lot of different tutorials in there and it's also going to have a lot of different sounds just little snippets from different packs that we have on the site you get that plus it's going to double down its entry into our our giveaway okay so thank you so much for watching make sure you're subscribed and everything grab something from the site and i'll see you in the next video we're out peace